So in today's video, we're going to look at extracting or removing numbers or text from a cell. And so we're going to use regex to do that. And so let's go ahead and jump right in. So we got numbers here on this first one. And so I have a sample regex extract here. And then as you go down, you can see it works more or less. And so we got a couple edge cases that we're going to have to do something different. So let's go ahead and start from scratch real quick here. So let's remove that formula and go back to equals regex. And you can see we have three different options in Google Sheets. The first is regex match. And this is just going to return true or false. Does it match? Second is extract. And this is going to actually extract the rule we're going to put in. And then third is replace. And so we're going to use these two today, regex extract and replace. We're going to vary depending upon what we need to do. So let's start with extract. Then we can take that cell reference and then we can build a rule inside double quotes. I'm going to link these in the description below, and these give you some different ideas of things you can use to build your regex. And so what we're going to do here is we're just going to start with something inside of brackets. And so we can do something like zero to nine. And you can see here it comes up with that first one. Now, if I add a plus after this, it's going to come up with any sequential numbers. And so there you can see it comes up 1200. Now, what happens if we need that decimal place? So we can just add a decimal place right there. And now it's extracting that. Now, one thing we could do instead of the zero to nine, if we look down through here, we have backslash D and it also matches digits. So we could replace this with backslash D and accomplish the same thing. And so now if we drag this down, it's mostly hitting things right on. So this 4.2 kilowatts, it's grabbing correctly. But this one it is grabbing that period there and we don't want it. So if you don't want that period or don't want that decimal place, you can just remove it. And so that would be how you could do that in that case. And then we can drag this down. And it works on those because we don't have any decimal places. So now let's look at this fringe case here. So what happens if we want to actually get a percentage from this 84 over 96? So we only have the 84 right now. And so we could come up with some more complicated rules to extract both. But what we could do is do replace instead. And so if we go back to this here and we scroll up to our brackets. So if we add a caret at the beginning, it's going to reverse it. And so if we go like this and put our caret symbol and then we just need to add something here so we could do maybe like a blank space. And there you can see now it has 84 and 96. So it's a great way to to flip this around is to use replace instead of extract. And it can make some of those things simpler to do. Now what we could do here then is we can split by that space. And so notice we added a blank space here. So if we got rid of the space, we won't be able to split it. But because we do that, then we can split it you can see now we have 84 and 96. And so now we could use our index. And index allows us to retrieve a row or a column. And so in this instance, we have one row with two columns. So we can do one, one, and that gives us 84. And then we could do divided by and paste that rule. And here go two. And there we go. We have that 0.875. And so we could turn that into percentage just like that. And if we change this, you can see that result changes just like that. All right, so that's one edge case. Let's go over to removing numbers. And so similar to what we did right here, we add that caret. We come over here, we can do replace. And in this case, we're matching it. And so we're just doing the inverse of what we did here, right? So here we're replacing everything but digits. Here we're replacing everything that is digits. And so this replaces everything that matches digits in that cell. And so if we drag that down, it does it just like that. Now, what happens if you want to get rid of something like the colons and the dashes? Well, you could add that right in here. And so some characters may not work in here because they're reserved characters in regex. But in this case, it's going to work for us. And so we can drag that down You can see it works just like that. And so now let's look at extracting text. And so it may seem to be the same as what we just did, but instead of the replace, we're going to use extract. And so with extract, we have a different set of options here. 
And so if you notice here, we're using that backslash D for digits. And over here, we're using A to Z and A to Z. So what does that dash mean? So when we started with this first one, we did 0 dash 9. And so 0 dash 9, come back over here. We can see here the rule is if you put a dash between, it'll match any letter or any digit between those. So you could do this and not extract all of them. So for example, here we could do zero to four. And you can see it will remove that five. If we go to three, it only does the 1200. So that is an option if you want to do that. So on these letters, we're doing uppercase and lowercase separately. So we could do just the uppercase. And in this case, it's the same. But if we drag this down, you're going to see something interesting happens. So that one works. That one just gets the W. That one just gets the P. That one gets nothing because there's no capitalized letters. So it's just an interesting thing that you can add as well. If you want to only get uppercase, only get lowercase, and you can go just like that. So we can drag this down. You can see now it gets both. Now what happens if we have more than one word and you want to get all the words? So in that case, what we could do is add a backslash S and that will grab spaces as well. And so let's drag that down. And there you go. There's platinum package just like that. All right. And finally, let's go to removing text. And so this is going to be very similar to removing numbers. We're just going to be removing the letters instead. And so here we had extract. And here we're going to replace. So let me add a couple columns over here so we can get a little better in this. So regex replace. And then we're using that same thing, A to Z, A to Z plus, and then doing it with a, in this case, a blank space. So we could add a space here and that will split everything that's being separated out just like that. And so that is an option as well. And it'll work just like that. And so you can decide if you want that space in there or not. And so if you're only extracting one, you probably want to leave that out of there just to keep it cleaner. And then you can drag it down just like that. Now, one thing before I close out this video is if you're extracting numbers, so for example, here there's 1200, if we try to add it up, and so if I try to do sum on, let's say these numbers, it's coming up with zero. And so the reason why is regex extract or replace results in a text, not a number. And so what we need to do in this case is wrap it with value and that will change it into a value. And so now we can drag this down and you can see now it's able to sum those up. And so if you have that issue where you need to change that into an actual value instead of just text, just wrap that regex extract or regex replace with value and then it'll do it just like that. Now inside the formula like this, it's already forcing it to a value when we try to do math on this. And so that's why we don't have to do it in this case. But if you have that issue, just wrap with value and then you'll be able to do that just like that. All right, so that's it for today's video. Make sure to check out the other videos on our channel for more tutorials on both Google Sheets and AppScript. And as always, have a great day.